Yeah. Hi. Good Hi. morning, Tim. Um, my name is Mary, and I am a student nurse here at CVTC. How are you today? Great. Good. Um, first, I'm just going to ask you how you would prefer I address you. Would you like to be called Mr. Pometlo, Tim? Tim is fine. Tim is fine? Okay, great. I'm going to go ahead and just check your um, name band here. And Could you just give me your full name and date of birth? Uh, Timothy Frank Pometlo, 71064. Okay, very good. That's what it says here. And do you have any allergies, Tim, that you're aware of? No. Good. That's what my chart says as well. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and... Uh, wash my hands and as I came in the room I'm doing a general survey meaning I am looking around just to make sure that if he has any um, you know wires or tubes or um, any monitors on that I'm checking those and making sure that he is in a safe position uh, the other thing I'm looking at is just his general appearance and he looks well groomed his hygiene is appropriate um, his dress is appropriate because obviously he's in the hospital. Um, as I talked to him, his speech was clear. Um, I could understand it. Um, when I checked his um, ID band, I could certainly tell that his skin was nice and warm and dry and his color looks really good. So behavior and all that is very appropriate. Okay, good. So we'll go ahead and get started, Tim. I'm just going to explain what I'm going to do. Um, I'm just doing a what we call an assessment. That means I'm just checking out your um, blood pressure, your temperature. I'm also going to be listening to your heart and lungs, checking your pulses and looking at your color and stuff at, in your lower extremities. Okay? Mm -hmm. So if you have any questions while I'm doing that, just let me know. If you have any problems, let me know as well. Okay? All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm just going to clean my equipment here really quick. First, we're just going to start out with a um, temperature check here. So I'm just cleaning my equipment here. And Tim, this thermometer doesn't even touch you. It just I just aim it at your... Um, okay, very good. All right, so your temperature is 97.8. It's very good. All right, the next thing we're going to do then is we're going to check your um, blood pressure. All right, so I'm just going to get this out. And I'm going to get my stethoscope out here. I'm just going to clean that as well. Okay. All right, we're just going to get this out of the way. Toss that in the garbage. All right, very good. Okay, Tim, so I'm going to have you rest your arm right on this table here. I'll just move things around a little bit so we can fit. All right, very good. Okay, um, do you have any preference which arm I use for your blood pressure? I'm just going to use this one if you don't have any preference. Okay, and do you know what your normal blood pressure runs? I don't. Okay, that's good. That's fine. We'll check that out. All right, just want to make sure your feet are flat on the floor there. Okay, and his, um, I just want to make sure his arm is heart level, which it looks like it. All right, so we're going to go ahead and we're just going to put this on. Okay, and then if I could just have you turn your arm just a little bit like that. Perfect. Okay, all right. All right, so first before we begin though, since you don't know where your blood pressure usually is, just going to get an idea here by pumping this up. It'll feel a little tight. Okay, good. Okay, great. All right, so now I have a good idea where you're at as far as your blood pressure goes. All right, so we're just going to wait a few minutes before I pump it up again. So we're just going to pretend that I waited two to three minutes. And I'm going to go ahead and check it. So now I'm going to find where his brachial pulse is which is right there. Put this right there. And I'm gonna go ahead and check your blood pressure now, for sure. Okay, good. All right, Tim, I got 140 over 80. All right, isn't the worst, okay. And then we're just going to set that back there. And now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to check your pulse. All right. So I'm just going to um, 
pretend that I've done this for 30 seconds. So when she talks over the voice, I'm just going to say for 30 seconds, just in the, um, okay, very good. Her pulse is very good. All right. And then we're just going to go ahead and check your oxygen level here. So this just goes on your finger and basically it'll just tell us what your oxygen level is. And at this time I'm going to be looking at Tim's respirations. And I can do that for 30 seconds or 15 seconds, whichever is, whichever you prefer. A full minute would be if he was having difficulty breathing. Okay, excellent, Tim. Your oxygen is 98%. That's wonderful. So I'm just going to go ahead and document my findings here. Okay, good. All right. So now that we have your um, vital signs and all that, I'm going to go ahead and begin our actual physical assessment. Okay. All right, Tim. So I'm just going to kind of start from the head and go down. Um, do you have any um, complaints of a headache today or no. dizziness? No. Okay. Do you ever find that you have trouble walking or stumbling? No. Okay. Very good. All right. So as I'm looking, I'm just generally looking at the shape of his head and also his scalp, making sure everything looks okay. The external ear, everything looks great there. His face looks symmetrical. So there's no abnormalities from one side to the other. So that's very good. All right. So Tim, the next thing I'm going to do is look in your eyes. Okay. So I just want you to look at me and I'm gonna go ahead and check your pupil size, okay? So as I'm looking, you can zoom in on this as well. I'm looking at the pupil to make sure that it constricts with the light, and I'm making sure both pupils are equal, and his shape of his pupils are approximately at a four. Okay, great. Okay, so pupils are equal and reactive to light, and I'm gonna check accommodation. So I'm just gonna have you look at this pen light, and I'm gonna bring it towards your nose. Just keep looking at this. Okay, very good. I'm going to bring it out. And what I'm looking for is his pupils um, constricting and dilating as I bring it near and far. And they also converge, which is very good. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and just take a peek at your nares. No swelling, no redness in there. I want you to open your mouth and say, ah, for me. Ah. Okay, very good. Everything looks good with his dentation. His tongue is nice and pink and moist, which tells me he's well hydrated. Do you have any trouble swallowing or no. any pain in your mouth or anything like that? Okay, so I'm just going to have you swallow for me. Good. Excellent. All right, so now we're just going to go ahead and move on down. And um, some facilities may have you check lymph nodes. Um, that isn't normally a part of uh, a nursing assessment unless necessary. But just from looking at his... Um, you know, lymph nodes in his neck and so forth, everything looks normal. They don't look enlarged or swollen. All right, very good. So now we're gonna go ahead and move on to your, um, your lungs, Tim. So I'm gonna go ahead and listen to the lungs, and then I'm gonna also listen to the lungs in the back, so front and back. Do you ever have any trouble breathing? No. No? Are you able to walk upstairs and inclines without getting short of breath? Yeah. Okay, any cough? No. Okay, good. Any history of um, smoking? Uh, no. Okay, very good. How about tobacco use? No. Nope. Okay, good. So I'm just inspecting his lungs. So I'm looking at his chest wall. Again, everything looks symmetrical and I'm noting his respiratory rate, which is very even. It's very shallow. Um, he doesn't have any difficulty breathing that I can see. He's not wheezing. I don't hear any audible sounds as he's breathing or snoring. Um, I'm also gonna look here uh, at the back and this from the front to the back is eight. So his anterior to posterior diameter looks normal as well. Um, it's like a one and a half to one, and it also looks normal to the transverse. Okay, very, very good. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and just let me know if you have any pain as I palpate. Nope, okay. Any pain as I palpate here? Okay, good. All right, great. So then I'm gonna go ahead and listen to your lung sounds. So as I'm listening, I just want you to breathe in and out through your mouth. So be like that, okay? So you take a deep breath as you do that. 
So what I'm going to do, Tim, if you don't mind, do, can I just slip off your, your gown? Would you be okay with that if mm -hmm. I just slip it down a little bit so we can all see? Okay, there we go. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start listening. As I place the stethoscope, that's when I want you to take a deep breath. If at any time you feel dizzy or lightheaded, let me know. Okay, Tim, take a deep breath, in and out. Blow it out. Good. Just like that, in and out. Good. Excellent. And you note I'm going side to side so that I'm comparing each side. Sounds really good. And one more here. Good. That takes a little bit, doesn't it? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and go to the back. Again, the posterior looks good, nice and even. Um, I don't see any abnormalities as far as um, masses or um, skin abnormalities. All right, Tim, I'm going to do the same thing, and I'm going to have you go ahead and take some nice deep breaths. In. Good. Excellent. I should be hearing mostly vesicular sounds, which I am. Deep breath. Excellent. And we'll do one more over here. Okay, very good. All right, Tim, thank you for that. And also as I'm back here, I'm examining for any pressure spots behind his neck, um, shoulder blades. Um, elbows as well. I'm also looking at the skin. You're always going to be looking at the skin throughout your assessment. All right, we're just going to keep them just like that because now I'm going to move on to the cardiac um, sounds, heart sounds. All right, and Tim, I'm just going to be face the camera just a little bit so everybody can see. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and listen to heart sounds. Now I'm going to begin to ask them some subjective questions. Um, any history of chest pain? No. Any history of heart problems or high blood pressure? Okay, no. all right. Any history of your heart beating irregularly or fast or palpitating? No. Okay, good, all right. So um, that's all negative, so I'm gonna go ahead and start to just observe. And um, everything, as far as I can see, looks really well on the chest wall. Um, so I don't see any um, heaves. I'm gonna feel for any thrills. which I don't feel any. Okay, Very good. And there is no abnormalities on inspection. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to listen to his heart sounds. So I'm gonna go down to his second intercostal space. You can just breathe normally, Tim. It might seem that I'm listening for a long time, but don't be alarmed. So as I'm listening, I'm listening for any uh, murmurs or extra heart sounds. I'm also paying attention to the rate and the rhythm. Everything sounds good. And I would assert in his um, apical pulse right in the midclavicular fifth intercostal space, which I am listening to his apical pulse right now. And if indicated, I would take a full minute for his rate. So for the essence of time, I'm just going to continue. All right, but that's where I would take his apical pulse. Once I'm done doing that, I need to listen with the bell of the stethoscope, which is, this is your bell, because I listened with the diaphragm. And I'm just going to continue up in the opposite way. This is where you best hear S4 sounds, S5, excuse me, not S5, S3. Okay, very good. All right, so we are done with that at this point. All 
right, so now I can go ahead and have you put your gown back up. All right, and Tim, I'm just gonna go ahead and check your brachial pulses at the same time. You can see, so you just wanna hold your arm like that. So what I'm doing here is I'm assessing for some symmetry with the pulses, making sure they're both equal on each side, which they are. All right, and then we're gonna check his um, radial pulses here. And again, those feel very good. They're nice and equal. I would rate them at a two plus. They're not irregular. Okay, good. Now I'm also gonna look at his fingernails. Um, we're gonna check for capillary refill. So we're just gonna push down on the nail beds. Capillary refill is less than two seconds. His color looks really good. His skin is, again, like I said, warm and dry. All right, and we're just gonna check for skin turgor while we're here, and that looks really good as well. Okay, all right, Tim, you can go ahead and, um, actually, you can just stay right there for me. I'm gonna go ahead and, um, actually, no, you can lay down, I'm sorry. Go ahead and lay down. Might be a little more easier to do this laying down. Um, your head, I'm gonna put it up a little bit, just a little. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. All right, good. And then I'm gonna put my side rail down so I can get at you here. Doing okay so far? Yep. Okay, good. <laughs> All right. So we're just kind of checking everything over. All right, good. All right. The next thing, Tim, I'm gonna do is um, check your strength in your in your arms. So I just want you to squeeze my, um, can you guys see me okay? I'm just gonna have you squeeze my fingers real tight. Good, wonderful. Okay, you can let go. So he's got um, equal strength, five out of five. And then we're gonna go ahead and have you push against my hands. Great, five out of five. And Tim, I want you to go like this, okay? And I'm gonna pull and you try to push. Oh, there you go, great. So he's got great strength. Muscle strength is five out of five on all of his extremities. Um, the next thing I'm gonna do while you're, while you're laying here is I'm gonna go ahead and check for, um, just to make sure you can feel and sen your senses are okay. So do you have any um, numbness or tingling in your arms? No. Okay, very good. Do you ever feel like you cramp in your arms at all? No, okay, good. I just want you to close your eyes and just tell me when you feel um, my light touch, okay? No. Okay, and what am I touching? Which part my of your body? Forearm. Yeah, very good. Tell yep. me what, yeah, okay. Left and hand. Left hand, okay, very good. Left arm. Good. Right leg. Okay. Left chin. Good. Excellent. All right. Great. Okay. Now we're going to continue on. And Tim, I'm just going to um, take a listen and look at your abdomen. All right. Um, I'm just going to, Are you, you have your shorts on, so that's good. I'm just going to lift your gown up. Okay. All right, and I'm just taking a look at his abdomen, um, inspecting as I'm asking him, do you have any problems with your, your bowels moving or your bladder like urinating? No. Okay, no pain when you urinate? No. No pain when you have a bowel movement? No. Okay, and do you go on a regular basis? Yep. Okay, and the color of your urine isn't abnormal, like different color? No. Okay, all right. Um, any problems with decreased appetite? No. Nausea or vomiting? Okay, no diarrhea? No. Okay, good. And do you feel like you've taken a fair amount of fluids through the day? No. Okay, yeah, he looks well hydrated too. All right, so I'm just gonna take a look at his belly and it looks good. I wouldn't say that it's scaphoid and I wouldn't say that it is protrubent. I would just say that he has a nice, um, normal looking belly. There is no um, scars, there's no bruising, there's no lumps or masses on, on the appearance of it. So. And he's got good hair distribution on that as well. So, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to listen in a few places on your belly, all right, to make sure everything is moving in there okay. And then I'm gonna go ahead and push on your belly a little bit. All right, so we're gonna start in the right lower quadrant. And you should be listening for um, one minute in each quadrant. But I'm just gonna go ahead for the presence of time here. 
And what you're listening for are bowel sounds. Okay, you have really good normal active bowel sounds in all four quadrants. So you'd want to assess for um, hyperactive bowel sounds or hypoactive bowel sounds. All right, and I'm just going to press lightly. Let me know if you have any pain. And I'm also palpating for any abnormalities, hardness, or anything. I shouldn't feel organs when I'm palpating. Okay, everything looks great there. All right. So now we're just going to go ahead and move down to the um, bottom part. I try to get all the top done first, and then I move down into the bottom part here. All right, good. So I'm looking at his legs and the color looks great. He's got equal color distributed throughout his body. It's normal for his um, ethnic group and he's got good hair distribution as well. Um, when I feel it, they're nice, warm and dry. And um, Tim, do you have any pain or cramping in your lower legs? No. Okay, good. All right. And I don't see any edema. Um, if I did see edema, I would want to rate that to see um, if it is, you know, pitting or not. Okay. All right. So I'm going to have to move kind of behind the bed um, to show them how to check for strength. There you go. That's perfect. Okay. Good. All right. Um, so Tim, can you just go ahead and just um, push on my hands here? Good. And can you just pull up gently? Great. Perfect. And he has equal strength in both extremities and it's, I would rate it as a plus five or five plus. Okay, good. And do you ever get any um, cramping in your legs when you walk? No. Okay, good. And you said no numbness or tingling as no. well. Okay, good. And as I inspect, I don't see any redness. Um, any tenderness, Tim, when I press? No. All right. So here I'm just checking for any signs of a uh, DVT, which he does not have, because you would normally see some swelling unilateral swelling with redness and warmth. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and check your um, post-tibial pulses here. So the post-tibial pulses are right inside the ankle bone there. And again, these are wonderful. He's got good circulation. Rate them at a two plus. Good. And then we're gonna go ahead and check his dorsalis pedal pulses or pedis. And again, equal two plus very good excellent i'm going to check his capillary refill on his lower extremities his feet are a little cool but he still has good capillary refill less than two seconds okay great i'm just going to check your heels tim those look really good there excellent all right so that pretty much completes the majority of our exam Again, I looked through, as I was doing the exam, I made sure that I was looking at his skin the whole time. And I did check his pressure points. I didn't see any signs of um, um, injury or starting injury for um, pressure ulcers. His skin trigger was excellent. Um, his mucous membranes were also very um, moist and pink. And he had a perfectly normal physical exam. All right, Tim, so you can go ahead and sit up for me. All right. Um, do you have any questions for me? Oh. Okay, great. So um, I'm just going to let you sit and wait for the doctor to come in. Okay. Um, here's the call light. So you just press that red button if you need me to come back in. Otherwise, um, you know, you're steady, you're not dizzy or anything. So I'm not worried about you falling out of the bed. But normally if I had him back into bed, I'd be checking the side rails were up. The bed was locked and lowered and the tray was within reach. I'm just going to put this up for now a little bit. We'll put your tray here. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and just clean my equipment um, as I exit the room. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and do hand hygiene. All right. Thank you for um, letting me do your assessment, Tim. Thank you. All right. The doctor should be right in.